guys welcome back okay so it's time for another collective haul of stuff okay this is ridiculous let me just go ahead and put that out there right off top this is ridiculous i got a lot of stuff to show you guys i don't even know how this happened okay but yeah this is basically all the stuff that i have purchased or acquired or been given since my last collective haul, which I don't know when that was, but yeah, this one is way worse, y'all. This one is way worse. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in because honey, we ain't got time for all the pleasantries and shenanigans. Okay, so let's get started. Y'all know I can't see, so let me go ahead and get this out the way okay so what i want to start off with is a couple of items that i purchased from some indie brands that sell single shadows you guys know i've been kind of like purchasing more single shadows and whatnot so this first thing here is from color rain this is their book of shades now this has been out for a little while when it first came out i wasn't sure if i was going to pick it up i knew i liked it but wasn't sure if i was going to grab it it is a book that you can store magnetic singles in so it's really really cute i like it it looks like a book it says colored rain on the side and it's actually quite heavy <laughs> it's not light at all it's quite heavy but there are three different pages in here as you can see there's a mirror as well but i do have some colored rain singles here on the first page on the second page, I think I just threw some of my, yeah, MBA Cosmetics shadows in here. And then I also have more MBA shadows on the last page here. So yeah, I did pick this up, it was on sale. I don't remember if it was 20 bucks or something, but it was on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed it because y'all know I picked up the Juicy Boost. Speaking of the Juicy Boost, <laughs> I got this from Colored Rain as well. I did do a video trying this out. First impression, just a little look, y'all know, um, if you do want to see this in action. But I did pick this up from Colored Rain as well. Cute little 18 shadow palette. If you want to know my thoughts on this palette, go ahead and check out my video. I also picked up some items from JD Glow. Now, you guys, I am very very pleasantly surprised with the shadows that i picked up from jd glow these are some of the shadows i think i actually ordered some more after i swatched and used some of these i was like oh my goodness i'm in love okay jd glows like galaxy and shimmer shades oh gorgeous you guys but i did pick these up and i did like i said order a few more that are still on the way because when I tried it, I fell in love. Now, I also picked up from JD Glow a couple of their, what are these called? Highlighter boxes. So yeah, I just got two of the highlighter boxes. And let me show you guys these. Packaging, super pretty. So this one is Cloud 9. So that's what it looks like. I can't help it, I gotta swatch it for you. So that is cloud nine. You see that? Oh my goodness, honey. Put that in the inner corner. Gorgeous. So, so pretty. And this one is called Chaos. Same pretty packaging. This is what Chaos looks like. And that is Chaos swatched. So you see that shift there? I mean, these are crazy highlighters. So, so pretty. But I bought both of these, honestly, to pop them in my inner corner. They're so gorgeous. Okay, so you guys know my hauls are usually very palette heavy. This one is no different. But before I jump into that, I do, like I said, I have a lot of things from different places. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through some new things that I got from Ulta. So let me just start with the foundations. This first one here is from Smith & Colt Veiled Thread Weightless Micro Blurring Foundation. I have the shade 430 Neutral. This is what the box looks like. Let me show you it. I actually pulled this for my Shop My Stash 
and this is the color that I got the 430 neutral I love this foundation you guys I like it a lot I haven't stopped using it since I pulled it this is this is what I've been using now because the color is just a tad bit off for me it I don't know it's I can use it I could definitely work with it by itself but I've been mixing it with my um Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I love those two together but because I like it so much and it was on sale for ten dollars at Ulta I grabbed another shade so this was the next shade the 440 neutral the reason why I didn't get this one at first was because it looks a little bit orange you know a little bit more along the red tone um or reddish undertone so i don't know i might try mixing these two together and see how i like it but i like this foundation so much that i went ahead and tried another shade and i might go ahead and pick up another one before it disappears okay because i like it a lot i also picked up one of the juvia's uh, multi-purpose foundation sticks never tried it before i chose this for my shop mustache as well this one is in the shade guinea let me just show you what it looks like this is the shade Guinea. So I haven't tried it yet. It's still in my shop, my stash drawer to try out. So I will let you guys know, you know, when I do my recap on my shop, my stash, if I like it or not, or if the shade even works for me. Okay, I also picked up the Milani Green Goddess Makeup Melter Cleansing Balm. It has the cannabis sativa in it. I've been wanting to try this out for a long time. I don't remember if it was on sale or not. When I shop on Ulta, ooh, it smells nice. It has a nice pleasant scent to it, but when I shop on Ulta, sometimes it's because there's a sale. Sometimes it's because I have points. Sometimes it's because I'm bored. I don't know, but... <laughs> I did grab that. I also picked up a couple of blushes. You know, y'all, I'm a blush freak, okay? This is from CoverGirl, True Blend, So Flushed. This one is the color Hot Frenzy. <laughs> y'all see that? That color is bomb, okay? So, so pretty. I can see that on my cheeks for real. But Lord knows I didn't need no new blushes. You guys will see in a little bit why I don't need no blush. I also picked up this from JCat. It's the Love Struck Blusher Bronzer. And this one is in Pudding Pop, okay? <laughs> and I thought it was so cute. Of course, I just got it, you know, as a blush. But the little cat in there, little cat design made it so super cute to me. So, and J-Cat is so inexpensive that I had to grab it. You guys, I also picked up from J-Cat this Golden Soleil Baked Bronzer. Let me show you this. You see how pretty that is? Now, I like using these baked bronzers, of course, on my skin tone as like a soft highlight. So that's why I grabbed this because sometimes I want just, you know, something that kind of looks like a nice, healthy glow, but it's not like blinding or anything. So as you can see there, it just has that subtle hint of a glow. You put that on your cheeks and you look like you're glowing from within, honey. So that's what that looks like. Very, very pretty. Let me give you a you know, a better swatch. But that's what the swatch looks like. So you can see what I mean. Just a really soft hint of a glow. I also picked up this Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer. Okay. I've been seeing a lot of people use this on the tube and I wanted to check it out. I got the shade in Roby and this is what it looks like. See how pretty that is? Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. And I'm hoping that, yeah, that it just from the looks of it, it looks like it's definitely going to work for me. Let me see if I can get a swatch for you guys. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, honey. So yeah, this is in Roby from the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer and it has moisturizing cocoa extract. Revolution has really, really <laughs> stepped it up with their bronzers they're like we're not playing no more we here and we gonna make a statement with our bronzers okay definitely for your brown girls your dark girls your light girls they got it all now also from revolution i picked up this ultimate eye look palette this one is ocean treasure <laughs> look at the packaging so cute it's like these little rocks it's like a textured you can see that it's like textured on there very pretty but this is what it looks like 
And you guys are gonna laugh at me. I grabbed this because I was kicking myself that I didn't purchase that Pat McGrath little four shadow palette that was, how much was it, like 65 bucks? It was a lot of money, okay? That had the really gorgeous blues and stuff. So I grabbed this, trying to make myself feel better. <laughs> But then my girl Lily was like, hey, hey, that palette is on the Pat McGrath side. It's on the Pat McGrath side. So I ordered it anyway. So I had that coming too. <laughs> That'll probably be in the next haul. Anyways, okay, next from Revolution, I picked up this Roxy Blush Burst palette. Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. If you aren't following me on Instagram, um, I've started kind of like showing my collection in what I call beauty black beauty bites. They're like little pictures of items that I have in my makeup collection, just kind of, you know, placed in a little picture. And I think I put this in one of those pictures, not sure. But this is the Roxy Blush Burst Palette. And let me show you these blushes, you guys. It was so pretty to me. Look at those colors so so gorgeous uh, like i said i'm a blush freak and these colors were just calling my name okay i also picked up this covergirl easy breezy brow micro fine and defined pencil um i wanted to try out a new brow pencil i have not tried out like a new brow specific brow pencil in a long time so i just wanted to try this out i also picked up from covergirl this clean fresh hydrating concealer what shade did i get rich deep yeah 410 rich deep it doesn't look very deep <laughs> i'm sure online it looked deeper than it does here but let me just watch it right quick yeah it's not deep at all and it's kind of watery but it is clean fresh, so I expected it to be a bit lightweight. So yeah, I would definitely have to use this if I wanted some serious brightening under my eyes. Other than that, it might end up as an eyeshadow primer because yeah, that's way lighter than it looked online. Ulta Photos strikes again. Okay, I also picked up, who is this from? J-Cat Prismetal. I don't know why I keep buying these, you guys. It's like a really pretty, you know, eyeshadow that's just in a single pan. I have a million of the ColourPop, what do you call them? Super Shock Shadows and other ones like from MAC and from Ace Beauté and all that stuff. And I never even use them. And this one, I'm really not happy that I bought because this one really has like that putty type texture in there. Uh, you know, and the color is not even all that pigmented. It's kind of very, very faint, very light. But I heard somebody talking about these and I wanted to try them out. So I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of money on this at all, at all, because I'm not really happy with it. I'll probably end up seeing if my daughter wants it. Also, I picked up this Revolution or I Heart Revolution Tasty Peach mattifying priming spray i don't know if i have any um setting or priming sprays from revolution so i did want to try one out it's a very nice mister very light and soft the smell uh, it doesn't smell that great it's like extremely imitation peach it's not even like it's really trying to pretend that hard but i'll see how it feels on my skin Speaking of skin, I picked up this cute little kit um, from Mamad. Now, my girl Lily sent me a gel cream moisturizer and a rose toner from Mamad. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I fell in love with it. And I wanted to try the, what is it, oil to foam face wash. And so... I didn't want to buy a full size because I don't know how I feel about the oil to foam wash, you know, if I'll like it or not. I think I've tried it before once, a different brand. Anyways, I don't know if I'll like it or not. So I decided to get this little kit. It's a little three piece kit. So it has, sorry about the ring light, you guys, but it has the oil to foam wash. It has the toner and it has the moisturizer in here. And so I already know that I like the other two. I just want to try the face wash. And then if I like that, I know I can buy all three of them again in full size. So I really like these little kits that you can pick up and try out. And lastly, I got from Ulta, I believe these 
these are the last two items from Ulta. I did pick up two palettes and I went back and forth whether or not I was going to grab these, but I decided to go ahead and grab them. These are the latest Dose of Colors palettes. This one is the Cutting Edge. And let me take this brush out because it's going to fall out anyway. But this one is the Cutting Edge palette. I like the nice sleek packaging. And these are the shades in here. Very, very pretty. Has kind of like that army green feel to it and the shimmers. So, so pretty. They actually, this is actually a new one that they had to resend me because the first one they sent me got smashed. So I actually swatched the shimmers from it and bomb you guys so bomb the mats i swatched as well the whole palette is bomb in regards to swatches <laughs> this one is the smoky soiree smoky soiree and this is what the smoky soiree looks like you can see that definitely just a smoky palette <laughs> not that much you can do with it so yeah i'm really happy i got these i was like going back and forth because they're not cheap i think you know you think $30 for five shades. I mean, that's six bucks a shade. And I spend that for single shadows all day long without complaining. So I was like, you know what? I guess it's okay, 30 bucks. <laughs> if the quality is gonna fit the price though. Oh, I almost forgot. I picked up a palette holder from Ulta as well. This was on sale for $12. You guys know I have this kind of stuff like all over my beauty space, all kind of acrylic stuff. And I never have too many because I'm always shopping. <laughs> so I picked this up. It was cute. Very cute little palette holder for $12. So yeah, I actually got this one specifically to hold my um, little Juvia's mini palettes. It's perfect for these because now that there are seven of them, I believe, with the first four, they're going to fit in here perfectly and I'll be able to just kind of like display them on my shelf and it'll just, just be for these mini palettes. So anyways, speaking of mini palettes, <laughs> I did pick these up. So I got the latest three. I got the, what is it? The Sweet Pinks, the Mauves, as well as the Topes. And I know you guys have seen these already but this is what the topes looks like this one is the mauves this one is really really pretty absolutely gorgeous i think these new mini palettes are going to make such great companions to the ones that she came out with already and this is the sweet pinks of course this is my favorite those shimmers are calling my name i just haven't been in the mood to do a pink eye look i have to be in the mood to do a pink eye look so when i am i will definitely be using this next now I did purchase a couple of items from Moira. Is it Moira Beauty? I've never ordered from them before, but I wanted to try one of their palettes. You know, I'm just curious about the quality. This is the Sweet Paradise Destiny Eye and Face Palette. So the packaging is really pretty. Let's open her up. There's no mirror in here, but these are the colors that are in this palette. So nice arrangement of shades for me to play with. I think it's cute. Of course, um, I mean, I can use that as a blush. These would all have to be additional, you know, eyeshadow colors for me because I don't know, this is like, yeah, that's, I mean, it could be a highlight, but it's a little, that's too light. That's too light for me. So those would definitely be eyeshadow shades. Blushy pigmented, okay, hello but yeah those are the colors that are in this palette i also picked up a couple of their blush and bronzer duos the bronzer one hmm. the blush one is really pretty i got fiery lover that's what the packaging looks like so those are the two shades in here very pretty and for the bronzer duo i got the summer wishes so that is what the summer wishes looks like these are the two bronzer shades in here. I'm trying to make my camera focus. Yeah, so as you can see, mm, yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be sending this to my girl Lily because she is quite a bit lighter than me and I'm sure this can work for her. Now, I did grab some items from Sephora as well. Um, I did want to try out the new Born This Way Matte Oil Free 
oil controlling waterproof 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation okay that is a lot of claims right there okay now i got the same shade that i always get in their foundation which is the spiced rum and which is perfect for me but honey it's not the same color it looks i mean this shade looks like it'll work for me for sure but when i compared it to my other spiced rum let me grab it it does not look the same <laughs> it looks a little lighter to me i don't know y'all let me know am i crazy but it looks a little bit lighter to me but maybe because of the different formula the different type of foundation i don't know but they don't look the same to me okay i also decided to try out the huda beauty foundation since it was on sale okay so i did pick up two shades i got cocoa and nutmeg so this is and they look pretty close this one is cocoa you can see that that's cocoa and then this one is nutmeg so i don't know if you can see a difference but nutmeg is a little bit darker i believe so that's cocoa and nutmeg but honestly it looks like either one of these will work for me so we'll find out you guys know i'll be pulling this in my shop my stash i hope i like it since i bought two now i've never tried any of the two faced powders the loose powders i love the pressed foundation powder that's my absolute favorite but the loose powders i haven't tried so i grabbed this peach perfect mattifying loose perfecting powder um the packaging is absolutely gorgeous okay you see that packaging is bomb <laughs> very very pretty so what color is this translucent caramelized peach so yeah i got the caramelized peach really you know to set under my eyes and my highlighted areas so the color through the glass looks like it'll work but we'll see but yeah the packaging on it is absolutely gorgeous i also grabbed this cover effects perfect pressed powder and this is in the shade deep i believe <laughs> <laughs> I think I looked at this and actually laughed literally out loud, okay? But I don't know. You know, you never know until you actually put it on your face, but still. So this is what the compact looks like. This gray compact, it comes with a little puff. And let me take the plastic off. This is the shade Deep. I don't know might work okay because i look at some of the mac stuff the mac powders and stuff and they look crazy to me but people wear them and they work so i don't know i'm gonna try it i don't think it's gonna work for me because i like to be nice and warm and cocoa licious and this does not look warm and cocoa licious to me <clears throat> it looks a little bit cool and gray tone <laughs> so <laughs> we shall see if you watch my shop my stash you know that i picked up the milk vegan moisturizer i have been using this for my shop my stash and uh, i love this moisturizer you guys not only do i love the packaging i actually love the moisturizer it's so bomb i mean it's really really thick and creamy you don't have to use a lot it feels so amazing on the skin i really like this stuff it doesn't smell like anything so yeah i love it love it love it and lastly from sephora i picked up another skincare kit to try out this one is the ole henriksen balancing kit i picked up their other kit it has like the serum the blue toner which oh my goodness i love that toner i wish i could think of the name of it it's in the blue bottle I love that toner. I'm definitely going to buy some more of that. I'm almost out. <laughs> but I, it had that in it, and I think it had a moisturizer. I don't remember. But I really like that kit. I, I love these kits, you guys, because you can try out the products. Smaller amounts. You don't have to commit to full sizes. See if you like it. You know, if you don't, then you keep it pushing. But this one here is the Balance It All kit. So it has the oil control cleanser the uh, oil control toner and the oil control hydrator so i'm really really looking forward to trying this out i don't remember how much it costs but very very happy about it i can't wait to try this out okay so let's take a look at some palettes before i move on to some other miscellaneous stuff i went ahead and grabbed this glam light pizza veggie lovers palette <laughs> 
I've been looking at this palette for a long time. If you guys know about it, you know it's been out forever. And But the color story of this palette, I mean, look at the packaging. The packaging is really cute, but I don't really care about that. The color story in here, and there's actually a little mirror in here, but the color story for this palette is just so pretty. I love the green you know, color story in here. It's just gorgeous. To me, it's funny because the color story to me is kind of like grown and sexy, sophisticated, and it's in a slice of pizza. <laughs> so, you know, go figure. Also, you guys already know I have the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. I did pick this up. If you want to see swatches of this, I do have it on my Instagram page my instagram is the same as my youtube colorful camille so yeah i did go ahead and swatch this whole palette on my instagram uh page but very very pretty i also picked up this color pop i don't even know what the name of this is it doesn't have a name on here it's their own selection of single shadows i think it's called the rainbow palette if i'm not mistaken okay because it is a rainbow. <laughs> but this is their own collection of single shadows, you know, like rainbow style single shadows that they put together that you could purchase as a bundle. And it was gone for a while, but you know, and I was kind of bummed because I wanted to pick it up, but it actually came back. So when it came back, I went ahead and snagged it. So yeah, very, very pretty. I mean, it's your basic rainbow. What I don't like about it already is that there's no dark green. Um, and I don't like the fact that they just picked random shades to pop in here as glitters, but other than that, I really like it because I have plenty of green single shadows anyway, but very cute. You guys also know that I picked up the Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace collab palette. I did show this in my last Shop My Stash. I'm supposed to be using this, have not used it yet. I mean, honestly, the palette is really pretty and the swatches that I've seen are absolutely gorgeous, but it's just hard for me to drum up the enthusiasm to use such a muted palette. <laughs> I'm just being honest, but the shimmers are actually absolutely gorgeous, okay? So, but I am. I'm probably gonna play with this purple and I'm gonna play with this green and the shimmers for sure, okay? But yeah, I'm really glad that I have this in my collection. So, so happy for Mel, congratulations. You guys also know that I did get this Nomad Orient Express. I didn't purchase this. This was actually sent to me from Nomad. I did do... Did I do swatches of this? I did. I did swatches of this on my Instagram as well. I, I'm just like, this palette, <laughs> okay, first of all, their formula is amazing, but this palette is so gorgeous. The red, the blue, the greens, the golds and everything. I really want to do just a bright red look or a bright green look with this palette. So yeah, this is definitely on my to-do list. I did go ahead and grab a few items from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. This is the Yolando's Bloom Blush Palette. So the packaging is really cute, you guys. Very, very cute. And these are the blushes that are in here. Kind of tripping out off of the new yellow blush trend. It's so funny. I was talking to my girls and I was like, I'm gonna put some yellow blush on. <laughs> I'm like, I know it's not for me, but what? I'm going to put it on anyway and see what happens, okay? But the colors in here are absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty, and I can't wait to use it. I also picked up two palettes from Playing and Makeup by Yolando. This one is the Jamrock Universal. I never picked this one up. This was one of like her original palettes, the Jamrock Universal, and she re-freaked it, you know, came out with like an updated, better version of it. So I'm glad I didn't buy the first one. I went ahead and bought the re-freaked one, okay? So this is what this one looks like, okay? Now, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know Playing in Makeup by Yolando has some of my absolute favorite palettes, favorite shades. I mean, her palettes are incredibly pigmented, 
they blend out well the shimmers knock your socks off okay so yeah i definitely cannot wait to dive into this one okay because i love all of my other yolando palettes and lastly from yolando i got this jam rock colored what i think it's wasi shana wasa shana wasi shana palette anyways this one is the pastels so pretty oh my goodness just looking at it it just <laughs> takes my breath away look at this palette you guys look at the colors okay now you want to talk about having a well-rounded beautiful pastel palette here you go okay and i know her quality so i'm not concerned about the quality of these shadows at all this palette is just so gorgeous and oh my gosh I can't wait to play in this either. This one is so, so pretty. Now this palette, <laughs> this palette is hilarious. This is from a brand I had never heard of. It's called the Beat House Cosmetics. So this is a limited edition 2020 palette. So this palette kind of commemorates the year 2020. And we all know it's been basically, I try not to cuss on my channel, but it's been a hell of a year. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, let me show you what this palette looks like. So here it is. It's the 2020 palette from the Beat House Cosmetics. And it's the kind of palette where, you know, you take it apart. So this comes apart from the shadows. And this is what the palette looks like. So you could kind of just like take a look at some of the names for these shades and you will see why it's absolutely hilarious because I don't know if it's so much hilarious or if it is sad, <laughs> you know, cause this year has been a doozy. You know, it has Quarantina in here, Karen, Dorona, <laughs> Black Lives Matter, of course, TikTok, School's Out, Savage, WTF, it's just the names for these shades is just like so reflective of this year. So I really purchased this just as a keepsake. So I'll never forget, which I'm sure I'll never forget this year. But yeah, <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> so yeah, if you're interested, it's from the Beat House Cosmetics. I also got my hands on this beauty from the crayon case. This is her blush binder. Okay, now when I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness. Gotta have it, have to have it. My girl DJ did a video on this blush binder already. As soon as she got it, she put her video up. Her look, oh my gosh. She used it for her eyes. Her eye look came out so bomb. I won't spoil it, but check out her video. I'll actually link it above. Um, she did, you know, great first impressions on this and used it as a blush and everything. But let me show you the shades in this blush binder, honey. Do you see? Do you see? Okay, that's page one. This is page two. This is page three. Okay. So this binder has 18 blush shades in it. And I mean, there's contours, blushes. You can use, there's no highlight in here, just blush, contour shades. But of course you can use all of these shades as eyeshadow as well. So it's just so bomb. Of course, nobody needs this much blush. Nobody needs pans this size for blush. But <laughs> as a makeup junkie and a makeup lover, honey, I'm loving every single minute of it. So I got that. It actually restocked. It sold out like within minutes. It restocked and sold out within minutes again. Now the She's and Party palette from Milk Cosmetics. This was a gift. I wanted this palette so bad, but I was like, mm, don't want to buy that. And then my girl... Lily sent it to me. It had a little bit of a casualty. The first shade here was a casualty, but it got pressed back in, so perfectly fine. But yeah, this is what the She's in Party palette looks like. And I've seen some absolutely gorgeous looks done with this. My girl Lynette did a beautiful look with this. You know, it's just it's so, so pretty. So I'm so thankful to Lily for sending me this. It's so pretty. Huh? You hear me talking? Yeah. 
You no. What magazines? Which ones? Oh yeah, I don't care. Ooh, child, I hope y'all brought some snacks, honey, because I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's a lot. Here I have the Jungle Fever 14 Color Press Pigment Palette from C Color. C Color does a lot of dupe palettes, and their palettes are actually really, really nice. I haven't been able to figure out what this is a dupe for, if it's a dupe for anything. I just saw it, and I thought it was so, so pretty. And they're so affordable. I don't know, this palette might have been like 10 bucks or something like that, so not expensive at all. I really like you know trying out things from c color very affordable but these are the colors in this palette it just really reminds me of like just a tropical situation you know I, <laughs> looking at it i think of toucan sam you know or fruit loops or something it's just the colors are really really pretty in here so yeah i went ahead and grabbed that and then i also picked up this morphe 35c everyday chic i haven't used this yet you guys this is like this palette is intriguing to me it's really intriguing to me but I don't know, you know, it's a Morphe palette. I'm not expecting that much from it. I'm really not. It's, you know, it's it's all about perspective because someone can look at this palette and be like, oh my gosh, that's really intriguing. It's, you know, it's pretty, it's gorgeous. I like it, it's beautiful, the shimmers, blah, blah, blah. And someone else can look at it and be like, man, that palette is boring as hell, okay? And unfortunately, I'm both of those people. <laughs> both of those people live inside of me so one minute i look at the palette and i'm extremely intrigued and want to jump in and see what's happening and then another minute i'm like why did i buy that okay so yeah i have mixed emotions about this i need to try it out but i feel like it's a morphe palette so i'm not expecting that much you guys know i love trying out different indie brands brands that aren't you know mainstream or well known and i came across this brand it's luna magic found them on instagram woman owned <laughs> woman owned brand <laughs> yeah woman owned brand um and i can't remember um if she's puerto rican or i'm sorry i can't i'll, I'll try and um put it on the screen i'll look it up and see put it on the screen but yeah it's um two sisters i believe but yeah i saw them on instagram and decided to try them out i was like okay get it girl so this is the luna magic uno palette i think the name of the brand is luna magic so this is the uno palette and this is what the uno palette looks like look at those shades y'all nice pops of color absolutely gorgeous let me see if i can do a little swatchy swatch y'all know i'm going in for the shimmers okay all right not bad not bad okay very pretty i can see like that beautiful bright purple and pink in my crease and then pop some of these on my lid yeah definitely so yeah and it was really really affordable as well if i'm remembering correctly i don't remember them being expensive but i went ahead and grabbed they had like a bundle of lashes as well so these are the happy <laughs> happy x lashes they're called happy x very very cute style and you get two pair in a pack this one is the tusa tusa and then this one is love amore love amore so yeah i'm going to be trying those out like i said i love trying out different small brands now the last time i went to my beauty supply which was probably about a month ago i ventured out in my mask <laughs> to go find some hair <laughs> but yeah last time i went i uh purchased some lashes and i loved those lashes i was like oh my gosh those are bomb i need to buy some more but you know i'm not just running around in these rona streets like <laughs> it ain't nobody's business for no lashes okay so i went online and i was able to find the brand online um these wonder cat lashes so this was the brand of lashes that i purchased from my beauty supply and so i went ahead and found them online so i did stock up on <laughs> the different styles that i like now I, I was 
was looking online, I grabbed these. These did not look this big online. These mugs look crazy. Do you guys see how big these lashes are? They look crazy huge but yeah I, I only got two of these but these are so huge i'll probably be sending these to my girl lily as well because she loves huge lashes and i know them ain't gonna work for me they're too big so of course perusing through the website um i picked up a few other things you know i'm like okay let me try this brand out so they were on this website for eben new york I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's Eben or Eben, but I'm gonna say Eben. Eben, New York. And so I saw they had palettes, bronzers, you know, all kinds of stuff, brushes and stuff, and it was pretty affordable. So of course, you know, I'll try some stuff out. This is the Secret of Pharaoh eyeshadow palette. I really, really like that design on there. Very cute. And this is what it looks like has that gold background so it's a little bit hard to see but you kind of see those colors in there you know those colors are right on my alley very pretty these blues you can do a beautiful blue look with that and then you got these little warms over here your pinky purples and your shimmers so yeah I thought it was pretty and I want to try it out because I want to see if anything in their brand is really good I also picked up this sculpt and contour palette so you know, I don't know, but looking at the contour, the contour is it's a little deep. It's a little deep. It doesn't look that deep, but um, you know, on camera, but it's actually a little a little deep. So I'm thinking that contour might work for me. This shade here, I probably have to use it to set my under eyes because you know it's nice and light. So yeah, I'm thinking this might work. Can't wait to try it out. I also grabbed uh, this glowing bronzer. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what, I must, I think I might be addicted to highlighter. Just like I'm addicted to um, eyeshadow palettes, I might be addicted to highlighter. This is Gold Kissed Pop. So that's what the packaging looks like in case you decide to go on their website and order something. But look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let me go ahead and do a little swatchy swatch for you. Look at that just a nice soft beautiful glow so so pretty i love these type of glows you know for people that don't like that blinding glow but they still want to look lit from within these are perfect for that okay so so pretty i also grabbed a few brushes because they had brushes on sale i think these were probably you know going out of stock so they're clearing them out for some new ones these are what looks like the secret of pharaoh brushes i can't see so hopefully you guys can see that secret of pharaoh brushes and i thought they were really pretty with the gold pharaoh um this one is the highlighter brush so got a highlighter brush that looks like a perfect perfectly shaped highlighter this one here i took them out of their packaging so i don't remember i think this is a contour brush that looks like a contour brush to me. It's nice and um, compact. Nice and compact. So yeah, it's a contour. And I think this is the foundation, like flat top, you know, flat top foundation, kabuki type brush. So yeah, perfect. And I like these smaller ones because, I, you know, as you can see, like when I do my foundation, I don't have that much room in between my eyebrow and, you know, my baby hairs or whatever. So when I'm putting on my foundation, I need something that's going to fit in those little tiny spaces and, you know, caress my brows and whatnot. So I like the smaller brushes because the big ones, you know, they be too big. Okay. So yeah, I got those. And Lord knows why I grabbed this, you guys. I picked one of their little single shadows, okay? They had some of these in different colors. I don't really care for these because, you know, they're not magnetic and they're in their own little pan. So these easily get thrown in a drawer and forgotten. I think maybe at the time I was just thinking I wanted to just kind of check out one of their single shadows and see if they have any gems or whatever. But I chose this color, which is gemstone. <laughs> How ironic. The color gemstone it feels kind of powdery already just with the swatch mm -hmm. it's kind of pretty though i mean yeah it actually is kind of pretty yeah totally didn't need to get it but i'm sure it only cost me like a dollar or two but it's a pretty color 
very pretty okay you guys let me pull this big thing over here so i can share with you guys some of the things i ordered from the boxy pop-up but in my defense this is from the last two boxy pop-ups okay not just the last boxy pop-up this is from the last two boxy pop-ups <laughs> okay so yeah i did your girl order some stuff okay Okay, so this first thing here is a Pure and Barbie Glitterly Pink Brightening Peel Off Mask. Okay, I did go ahead and grab that because I wanted to try it out. I love face masks and I like peel off masks actually. So hopefully this one doesn't hurt. Um, it says it has licorice extract, green tea, vitamin B, and ginseng. Okay, so I'm going to try this out. Maybe I'll do a video. Isn't this supposed to be like that really pretty pink with the glitter and stuff in it. Maybe I'll do a video on this. You guys let me know what you think. Also, I got this Dr. Brandt Pore Purifying Cleanser, okay? I had some of this already. I had a little sample and I actually really, really like it. So I went ahead and picked it up. It says it has salicylic acid, tea tree oil, and white willow bark, so. And you guys know with Boxy Pop Up, you can get stuff at really extremely discounted prices. So that's what your girl did, okay? Now I grabbed these two Farsali um, essences. Well, um, one is a primer serum and one is an essence. This one is the Unicorn Essence and this one is the Skin Tune Blur. So let me just show you these right quick. Yeah, that's one of the good things about BoxyCharm is when they have their pop-up shop, if there's something in there that you absolutely love, you can probably get it like for dirt cheap. So yeah, this one is the Unicorn Essence. Very, very pretty. And this one is the Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum. Farsali has like the best packaging, okay? So, so pretty. So I'll be adding those to my skincare options. I also picked up a backup of this Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. I really, really like this stuff a lot. I actually already have a backup, so I probably shouldn't even pick this up, but it was dirt cheap, okay? So it says here, smooth and pore covering. This stuff is really, really nice. I'm sure you guys have already seen it before, but yeah, I definitely don't need to buy any more because now I have two backups, but this stuff works great. I also got this Daydreamer Super Gentle Face Wash. Never tried it before, but um, it's from, is it Bloom, it looks like? Bloom? Yeah. Gentle Moisturizing Cleanser that leaves you glowy all day. So yeah, I've never tried it. I love trying different face washes because I love washing my face. So <laughs> I like trying different face washes. And so see how that one goes. I also grabbed a uh, body wash. You know, they put it in this little plastic. So it, just in case it spills. But this is from Nest. It is the Ocean Mist and Coconut Water Body Wash. Let's see what she smells like. Is she pretty? Is she pretty? Yeah, she's a little sticky, so she did actually spill a little bit, which means there's no safety seal inside. Oh, it smells really nice. I like that, that smells good. It actually smells like it could be masculine or feminine, to be honest with you. So I'm wondering, is this a male scent? It doesn't say, but yeah definitely smells really really good but it smells like something that my husband can use too i also picked up this beauty bakery illuminator so icy so it's it's a loose highlighter but you know beauty bakery has the whole bakery theme so it's in this cute little packaging very cute this is the shade glazed i think they had maybe three shades to choose from i don't remember but they had a few shades that you could choose from and so it has a cute little holes in there, you know, for the highlighter. Let me see if I can get a little bit for you guys. Ooh, okay, can you see that? Oh, she pretty. Yeah, she pretty, mama. She pretty. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh, she pigmented too. Hello. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'd be looking like Cleopatra with that on my cheeks. Pretty. Okay, not mad at it. 
Next, I picked up from Cover Effects this blotting powder. I guess all the Cover Effects powders are on sale or something. And I don't know how I feel about the shades. This one is deep as well. <laughs> so the one I got from Sephora is a setting powder. This one is a blotting powder. So this is what the blotting powder looks like in the shade deep. So, I mean, you know, it's deep. You never know. We'll see. We'll see. I um I don't use blotting powders. I really don't. You know what? Let me check it out right now, okay? Because I am starting to get a little healthy glow. And it comes with a little puff. It actually looks pretty dark on the puff, doesn't it? Okay, well, let me see. Ooh, okay. You know what? This look like it is deep, okay? And it is drying up. My little shininess, right? I don't know about the color though. I'd be hesitant really to put powder on my face when I'm not <laughs> familiar with it because honey, you mess up your whole face. But yeah, this is definitely deep. I can see it. You guys can probably see it too um, on my face. Yeah, the areas where I'm putting it down. Bye. Love you too. I don't want to block my nose because I got my little highlight. Okay, my little highlight. <laughs> okay, yeah, it definitely blotted me out. I don't know about this shade with what I got going on, but yeah, it's definitely deep for sure. I'm just going to take my powder brush and kind of blend it in a little bit so I don't look too crazy for the rest of this video. But you guys let me know down in the comments what you think about the shade of this because, um, you know, it has, you know, I like my stuff to be nice and warm and this kind of looks a little cool tone, a little gray to me, you know? So anyways, but it did work. It definitely worked a blotting powder okay i'm not mad at it. it gives me hope for the setting powder that i bought from sephora i also picked up this title brightening enzyme water cream from sunday riley <laughs> now this um i had a sample of this that i got from somewhere probably sephora but i had a sample of this really really like it so when I saw it um, on the boxy pop-up, I'm like, let me go ahead and grab that, okay? So yeah, ooh, water cream. You guys know how much I love the water creams, okay? It's been a while since I had the sample, so I don't remember exactly what it smells like or looks like. Okay, it just has a very, very faint smell. It doesn't smell like anything crazy, so that's what it looks like inside. I don't remember it being green. But like I said, it was a while ago when I had the sample. So, yeah. Let me see something. Ooh, feels good. Is this like a night cream? A lightweight oil-free gel cream for instantly glowing dewy skin. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Y'all know I love me some moisturizer some cleansers, some face masks. <laughs> Lord knows I don't need any, but I love them, okay? So I did pick this up. <sighs> I guess I bought a lot of stuff from the pop-up, okay? This is a set and define kit from Kenya Ontiveros Beauty. Kenya Ontiveros Beauty, if I'm saying that right. So yeah, this is like a, a bronzer and contour palette. Is there highlighter in here? There is, this over here, gorgeous, gorgeous highlight, pretty, okay. And it looks promising too. I wasn't sure, but it actually looks promising, okay. So yeah, I got this. Who wants to come over here and put all this stuff away from me? <laughs> That's the fun part, putting all this stuff away. 
I also grabbed some sponges. They have this cute little Lux and Willow 10 pack of sponges, beauty sponges. Um, very reasonable. I don't know how much this was. It might have been like six bucks or something. I don't remember. But it's a really decent price for me to grab it because Lord knows I don't need any sponges. And they actually feel quite soft. You know, I'm, I'm very particular when it comes to the softness of my sponges. Well, they still don't feel as soft as the Shot Miss A ones. <laughs> But, I mean, I feel like when I wet it, it'll probably be nice and soft. So, yeah, I got these. Sitting here talking about how particular I am and my favorite sponges only cost $1.55 each, honey. Hello. <laughs> they work, though. Okay, I also picked up this course. What is this called? Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. Okay, another cleanser. I feel like you can never have too many cleansers or moisturizers. Okay, so I did get this. Is this from, yeah, this is from Kors. So pick this up. And I also grabbed a few palettes from the pop, Boxy Pop-Up, okay. This one is the Marc Jacobs Iconic. And which color is this? Frivolux, it looks like. Frivolux, is that what that says? Y'all tell me, honey, y'all know I can't see. So yeah, this is my absolutely very first Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette. I don't know why I wanted one in my collection, but I did. I was just like, you know what? I have to have one in my collection and I have to try it out because I've never tried out Marc Jacobs before. So this is what this one looks like. It's so funny because I don't remember ordering this color. I could have swore I picked a blue one, but anyways, this one is purple. I mean, it's pretty, but, you know, I'm more partial to blue, and I thought I grabbed a blue one, but I'm still going to try this one out nonetheless. So I'm so excited. I finally have a Marc Jacobs palette in my collection that I didn't spend an arm and a leg on. <laughs> now, I got this palette from Zoeva. This is the All Night Long. Is that what this is called? All Night Long. <laughs> Glam. So this is what this palette looks like looking at it now it doesn't look very exciting but i don't know i couldn't tell you why i got it but i got it and lastly i got this violet voss coral crush i thought this palette was so pretty when it came out and i don't know i just forgot about it i guess isn't that just like the most gorgeous coral palette <laughs> it's so so pretty oh my gosh it's gorgeous so Anyway, yeah, I got this. Very, very pretty. So that's it for my boxy pop-up stuff. I just have a couple more items of randomness to show you guys. These were a gift that I got from my daughter. <laughs> when she goes to Target, she peruses through the makeup uh, section, you know, of course, and brings me stuff and leaves me stuff in my beauty room. It's so, so sweet. I love my daughter. But she picked me up a couple of palettes. These are from Color Story, which you can find at Target. She also picked me up some Makeup Geek lashes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to tell her, hey, keep perusing down the Makeup Geek aisle, honey, because your mama needs a few more things. <laughs> but this one is called Tropical Glow. Very, very pretty. And these are the colors in the palette. I actually have a couple of the Color Story palettes already, so I do like the quality on these. You know, it's just your average like drugstore type quality. These are actually pressed pigment palettes, so they're a little bit better as far as uh, pigmentation goes with their shadows. And this one is called Wanderer absolutely gorgeous look at those butterflies very very pretty now this one is a little bit more you know kind of light and dainty these first two rows you know don't really appeal to me but i can definitely use those to brighten up a look or you know put a pop on my lid this gorgeous deep blue of course is calling me but it just has a really beautiful um what is it like lavender type feel to it very very pretty and then these Makeup Geek lashes, 3D Faux Mink eyelashes in the style Nicole. I've never tried any Makeup Geek lashes. Okay, so I feel special, honey. <laughs> but this is what these lashes look like. And my girl Lily also sent me a couple of goodies when she sent me the she's in parties palette she sent me this lip gloss from a brand called laced with cherry 
I mean, we have really been going ham, trying out all these different Black-owned beauty brands. And so this is one that she tried out, and she sent me this, and <laughs> the name of it is Jinx. So let me show you this lip gloss. Oh my gosh, look at this color, you guys. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I can't wait to try this out. If I didn't already have lip gloss all over my lips, I would try it out right now. She also sent me this Huda Beauty. It's a demi matte lipstick in <laughs> the shade Balls. Okay, Balls. And that color is absolutely gorgeous as well. So, so pretty. You know, let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Why not? So that is the color on the lip gloss. Gorgeous, so pretty. Ooh yeah, nice, deep, dark, and vampy. Gorgeous, perfect for fall, you know. Hopefully fall is better than spring and summer have been. <laughs> <laughs> so just a couple of random items that I picked up from Amazon. I did grab a three pack of the Essence Shine 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 lip gloss. I can find, you know, great deals on Amazon for discounted rates on multi-packs of things that I know that I like. So yeah, I got some of the Essence Shine 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 lip gloss three pack. I like to have them, throw them in my purse, you know, keep one in the room or whatever. So very, very affordable. I also picked up another one of the African Black Soap with Shea Butter. This is from Shea Moisture. This is the soap that I use to clean my brushes, okay? I love this stuff. It lasts me. Look, I wash my brushes every time I do my makeup, for sure. But I wash my brushes, I would say, every other day at least. And one of these bars of soap will last me for a good six months, washing my brushes like every other day and so it lasts a long time it smells good and it cleans my brushes like that i don't know if you guys have ever tried this to clean your brushes i got this tip from andrea renee talking about this stuff so i tried it and honey i cannot go back now i use this for my brushes i use synthetic brushes you know so i wash them i don't i haven't had any issues with my brushes as of yet and i've been using this for almost a year now now for my sponges i use dial soap I use a bar of Dial antibacterial soap. I use that for my sponges. I don't use this for my sponges. I don't know why, I just like to use the Dial soap for my sponges, so, and that works amazing to clean your sponges, okay? And we are on the home stretch, you guys. I only got a few more little cheap palettes that I grabbed. I got these two palettes from Nika K. In my last um, beauty haul, I picked up some other palettes from Nika K and I wanted to go ahead and complete my little Nika K collection. So I got this blue one and this green one. I couldn't resist. The first time I was like, eh, maybe, I don't know. I got enough blue palettes, but <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed this because I wanted to have the blue and the green in my collection as well. So the blue one is called Ocean Eyes and this green one is called Lucky Charm. And so let me show you this one. So the green one actually has kind of like an aqua feel to it. And you see it has that brown in there as well. Very, very pretty. So I did pick these up to add to my collection, my Nika K collection. And then y'all, don't ask me why, but these little You Can Be palettes that they came out with, they came out with the Honey, the Berry Cola, the Pink Moscato, the the rainbow one which i don't have yet i'm still waiting on that one and that one was really the main one that i wanted but these little palettes just they got me they sucked me in i for some reason i like hard plastic case palettes i don't know why i like the colored plastic it looks so cute so this one is called my honey and these are the colors in here very basic nothing monumental very basic this one is called berry cola and this is what she looks like i think this one might be you know one of my favorite color stories because this one is really pretty and then this one here is pink mojito and honestly i feel like the only thing pink about this palette is the packaging okay i'm like where did i get that name from because honey ain't no pink in here so this is what the palette looks like 
very blah, very cool tone, you know. Um, yeah, this one, this one here, I wish I could send back. <laughs> but they were so cheap and expensive. I just picked them up. So the one I really, really want, I'm still waiting on the colorful one. So anyways, that's it, you guys. That is it. That is my whole collective haul of stuff since my last collective haul. Like I said, I don't know what it was, but that's it. If you are still here, honey, you are the real MVP, okay? Thank you. I love you. I appreciate your support and watching my videos. You know, hopefully you have fun <laughs> watching me uh, go through all of the items that I purchased over the last, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, okay? Leave a comment for your girl. Let me know if any of this stuff is intriguing, interesting, or if you have it. Let me know if you love it. Let me know if you hate it. Just chit chat with your girl down below, okay? Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.